Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video. Today we're playing Gran Turismo Sport here in Brands Hatch, England in the British car with the British driver. So of course here we are in this just this lobby that's made from one of the German friends of my good friend, my new friend as a matter of fact is Daniel. He is uh, representing the Nicola Pizza delivery car in front of us to the right which is Finn Connor which is his PlayStation Online name and I flummox the start. Now, I have not gathered when the lights go off on this game yet. Now when I play MotoGP, when I played any other games, they usually go on like the third beep or the third light. Grand Turismo Sport is not the same, so I keep messing that up. I think this is my second race here. Uh, the first race I got fourth, we were, when we were just set driving around in, um, in Brands Hatch. I've actually got the super soft tyres on as well, so we have got great grip going around these corners. Now as I just move up into seventh place, Beautifully done so far. So I met um, Dan Finn Connor, as uh, just up above in fifth place. I met him recently while playing online on GT Sport. Uh, I think it was the Red Bull Ring of Austria. We had an absolutely magnificent race. Uh, he's absolutely brilliant. He's actually driving on a racing wheel, as a matter of fact, with me with my Gran Turismo Sport controller. Uh, he was absolutely brilliant, and I really enjoyed racing with him. It was a really fun, clean racing. As I'm just gonna. Take a bit of contact here. Oh, I thought that was coming. Yeah, whoops. Uh, I don't know what happened to the other guy. I didn't. I don't think I really. I think it was my fault. I accidentally touched him by mistake, but um, hopefully he didn't mess his race. I think it did though. But uh, here we are behind Finn, behind good man Dan. But yeah, going back to our race in Red Bull Ring, Austria. We had a, we had a fantastic race. Literally, probably the best race I've had so far that didn't uh, accumulate to a win or a podium. It was for third place. It was for the final podium spot. And uh, Dan ultimately beat me in the end, but honestly, that was it was a brilliant race. It was very clean. It was very fair. Every time I attacked him, he attacked back immediately, but cleanly. It was brilliant. So, anywho, he invited me to this lobby, and here we are in Brands Hatch. As I get someone lunge up in the inside as he slides across the track. Uh, I think that was a reckless move on his behalf, but anywho, we're still going. And we are going to lose a bit of ground now because of that. So we've got about a second gap to behind Dan. I'm going to try and use the speed of this McLaren. Now I did find around this particular corner I was very fast. I got a great exit almost every time. And we are just going to follow Dan. I almost followed him into the grass there a little bit. But we are going to get a great exit here and Dan's going to go for the move. No he's not. He's holding off a little bit. Is he going to go for this time? Uh, see I have thought well I could probably have a go here but I'm not going to. Especially not if it's Dan. Oh my god there's carnage above! As we drive through the ghosted car. So everyone moves up one spot. It's as you were, but everyone moves up a spot. And here we go. This is getting interesting. So I'm currently setting the fastest sectors, which everybody does on lap two. But it, we'll see when we pass the lap, actually, who did set the fastest lap. So currently in fourth, just behind Dan. We've got Squirrel at the front. And I don't know how to pronounce his name. As, oh, he's a bit off the track there. He's gone wide. So we're going to immediately beat Dan's lap time and set the fastest lap of the race. Oh, I'll go wide. Now, actually, I've only set one fastest lap online so far, which is a bit of a shame. But nonetheless, we, we're trying to get results more than the fastest laps, I guess. So being in third place now, we're in a perfect spot. Um, got Dan ahead of me. I'm not going to say we're teammates, because we're, we're not teammates. <laughs> we're, we're just good friends. We're still all battling for the win. And when it comes down to it, I want to take the victory as much as he does. We're both competitive guys. So I'm going to get the drive here. I'm going to get some magnificent speed. And Dan's going to do the right thing. He's just going to let me pass. Because at this point, we need to stop this guy from getting away. So if we work together, if we start battling each other, we're not going to catch him up. So if we work together, I always had the speed. Dan, get my slipstream now. I so make a little bit of a hash of that corner there. Not... Not looking the t not looking the best. I'm going to try and break a little bit later here, and I'm going to just clip the grass. So I'm going to get out of the way and let Dan take over for, for a minute. Let me catch my breath. I was a bit out of shape there. So it is only a lobby race, but still, you know, you want to win. You're representing your representing your um, PSN name. You're representing your fans. You're representing, in my case, my YouTube channel. But I don't want to just flummox it all in one corner. So of course. We are still in third place, and the battle rages on for second. 
Is first place out of the question? Not yet. Still not out of the question yet. I mean, it's two and a half seconds. We can still do this. Turn one, pretty good at. Uh, sorry, turn three. And of course, here it comes. I'm going to flick it left. Get the great acceleration out of this corner. Breaking late. I did find this corner, as I say, was my best corner. It's breaking late there, avoiding the grass, unlike Dan did there. As he just puts a wheel on the grass. Now, if you put a wheel on the grass, that can that can sometimes result in just catastrophe. So it's good to avoid that. We could make the move, but let's not. Just sizing my options. Let him know I'm there, of course. Because I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm still watching. I'm still waiting for the right opportunities. This is, of course, is if you're wondering why there's no lap um, counter in the sense of no lap finish counter. That's because this is an endurance race. So it's a 10 minute endurance race, which means as soon as the 10 minute mark is up, that's when it's decision time and that will be the final lap. But as you can see, Dan has made fantastic drive there. He left me for dust and he is right on the fin's back now. He is literally right there. And this is what I'm not a fan of. He is purposely driving in front of, um, driving in front of Dan and trying to push him wide. And then of course Dan ultimately succumbs to the kitty litter and finds himself off the podium and off the battle. So here I am, ready and able to battle, hoping to beat the BMW. We're a British driver, British track. We want to win this one. So I'm going to have a little look up on the inside. And then I'm going to spend the lap now as I just, just went over the corner. I did not mean to do that. He kind of put me off from breaking a little bit earlier than I did. So I did accrue a five tenths penalty. But that's not a problem. I can soon el eliminate that as I go on. But the plan was now is just, we got three and a half minutes yet, so obviously there's going to be at least three more laps. I'm not going to do anything stupid, I'm just going to watch him. He's going to learn where he's stronger than me, learn where he's not as good. You know, let's be clinical with it, just like the doctor would. We are representing his suit in the car here. So we are just going to gently work our way around this corner. I'm still trying to remove that slowdown with the penalty. We're going to very slowly deplete that. I think I actually end up getting more penalties, as a matter of fact. I think it, the similar thing happened a moment ago where um, he looks to break. He breaks earlier than I do, so it puts me off a little bit. But on some of the corners, he does a lot better than I did. So I've just re reduced it there to 3.91. Sorry, uh, 0.391. But uh, he is actually getting away, so I probably need to concentrate on catching him up now and losing the penalty later. Because, as it, as it stands, if I win this race by at least 4 tenths, or at least 3.57 tenths, I should win the race. But of course, here in turn 1, he breaks a lot earlier than I expected. So I had to go a little bit wider there. But I do love this section of the track. This is my sector. But again, he breaks really early and in my way. So we are going to try and get up behind him. He's going to break a little bit earlier than I thought, so my lord, I almost smashed into the back of him there. Because I really don't want to push him off the track. That's not what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to win this cleanly. Do this properly, of course. So with less than two minutes remaining. A little bit on the grass there. Trying to avoid the grass. But I found this sector he was a lot better than I was. But he did go wide there. Can we take advantage? Can we attack? A little bit of sign in the track is annoying. You don't want to get that caught into your car. So again, the same corner as earlier. Just, he puts me off. I thought I'd have the line, so I didn't want to hit him. And I garner almost nine tenths of a penalty now. But nonetheless, we can still do this. It's not the end of the world. So we are going to try and make our way up on the inside. And he's going to try and block me here, which I'm not a fan of. Clearly the faster driver. I get that he's trying to stop me from passing, but... You could do it a little bit safer than that. So I'm going to get past you regardless. And there you go. You've gone wide. You mop it. I'm through. And it's on to victory. Or is it? Is there more drama to unfold? Well, a quick look behind me. I can't see him. He's about four seconds behind now. Should be good. There's only 50 seconds of this lap remaining. Therefore, that means this will be the final lap. And it's time to remove the penalty timer. As we set the fastest sector, personal fastest sector there. So the lap time that was sent by uh, the actual lobby owner of this group is the actual current fastest lap. Uh, he was um, he was really quick, but I don't know what happened to him. I think he 
he must have had that accident early on where he span, span around. I'm not entirely sure. But we here we are in the lobby representing the British fans, representing the British country. We are trying to do what we can here in Brands Hatch and I absolutely adore this track. Um, watched it. Just that, actually, as a matter of fact, I watched a recent video of British Superbike 2018 in Brands Hatch where Leon Haslam took his championship. It was awesome to watch. So here we go. It is declared the final lap on se lap 7 of 7. I'm going to slow down, remove the penalty timer just so we don't have that annoying blip on our screen. And we are going to take the victory here in Brands Hatch. Congratulations, Dr. Ace. Now, unfortunately, that doesn't count on the actual race victories, unlike the one in sport did. But, in the sense of a lobbying with friends, I did enjoy that. Uh, top man, top Brit. The only Brit, as a matter of fact. Then we see um, Dan actually recover to a sixth place in the Beetle. So, a bloody good effort from him, considering he, he had a major upset moment when he landed in the kitty litter. But, of course, that is the race. I am declared your winner. The German and the Finn both made the podium as well. But the most important part is, of course, the man standing on the top step of the rostrum, Dr. Ace himself. So here we are, the victory at last in my new Rossi outfit, as a matter of fact, at the classic Rossi helmet from 2015 when Lorenzo was chasing him. The Via 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 hat, uh, helmet, should I say? 40,800 prize money for that, nice enough. So, of course, thanks for watching, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Ciao.